Hermes? It's my moment of glory. I know I'm not supposed to be messing with this thing, but once I get my shrink ray working again, it's bye-bye big bad guys and hello little bad guys. Huh? Wait a minute. Maybe I had the resizometer in backwards. Whoa! <laughs> I guess I had it right the first time. <gasps> Yuck! Please, control yourselves! This is a sterile lab! Don't worry, Hermes. I just need to buy some time so I can fix this. rustic tent deep in the Amazon rainforest. But I wanted to really get in touch with nature, so I spent the night in the trees with the monkeys. Bet you fit <gasps> right in. Ooh, is Abby jealous? Oh, too bad nothing exciting ever happens to you. Oh, really? Well, on our last little eco-vacation, Ty and I had to fight off an insect invasion that almost <gasps> took over the city. Oh, look at the time. <laughs> Ixnay on the Osology Gray? No, tell us more about your adventure, Abby. Sorry, love to chat, but we gotta if get- If you're going to make up a story, at least make it believable. <sighs> so anyway, then the monkeys braided my hair and gave me a pedicure. <laughs> Please, the only eco-adventures Paige has is when she cuts across the park to get to the mall. Agents, there's been a break-in at the gag lab. Lab rat fought two ravenous monsters who nearly ate him and Hermes before he single-handedly drove them off. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Uh, his story had me on the edge of my seat. I still can't stop shaking. <laughs> Get in here at once. We're there. The big hideous monsters tunneled all the way into the gag lab and took nothing? Well, uh, they had no eyes, so maybe they got lost. What's that? That? Well, that's my laundry. Yeah, hmm. dirty laundry. Dirty underwear. Hmm? My dirty underwear. Ew. This looks like chitin from a buck shell, only huge. Maybe this will tell us what we're dealing with. We're dealing with dust mites. They usually live off the dead skin in bed sheets and pillows. Ugh. But dust mites are microscopic. Yeah, these monster mites must have been thousands of times bigger than normal. 10,000 to be exact. Ugh. It's gotta take a lot of dead skin cells to satisfy that appetite. Wait a minute. It looks like they tunneled out. So how did they get in? I, uh, well, uh, gee, that's... Mm. What kind of crazy experiments were you doing here anyway, kid? Detective, Lab Rat doesn't do crazy experiments. In fact, we couldn't do our jobs without him. If Lab Rat says that's what happened, that's good enough for us. Right, Lab Rat? You bet. If you say so. 
They have a lot of faith in you, kid. <laughs> so, who do you think is behind these giant bugs? Looks like Insectiva's work to me. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can't be her. Uh, mites are arachnids, not insects. Arachnidia! Her evil twin! Let's go! <sighs> I'm in deep dust, my doo-doo, little buddy. But I'm gonna dig myself out. They trusted me, and I'm going to earn that trust. Even if it means... Mm, leaving the lab! Ty, this was Arachnidia's old hideout. She'd never be fool enough to use it again. <laughs> One fool, no waiting. <laughs> Arachnidia! Oh, what creepy web of crime are you spinning now? What are you talking about? Oh, please. Who else would grow dust mites big enough to attack the city? Giant dust mites? Of all the nerve. Spare us the innocent act. I am innocent and angry. But I didn't think of it first. So if you're not behind this, who is? If someone is growing giant dust mites, I want to know about it. Arachnids are my domain. <laughs> Grossologists, we've had another attack by those disgusting dust mites. <laughs> They're at your school, hurry! We're on it, sir. Uh, Director? What are you doing? My laundry, what does it look like? Apparently, washing in hot water is the best way to control those monsters. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go boil my pillows. <laughs> The school's really close. I'll go and shrink those mites down before Ty and Abby even show up. Ah, monsters! Monsters! Monsters, <laughs> huh? Let's see Abby top this adventure. Come on. <laughs> Phew! Good thing I'm wearing smear-proof mascara. I can't see my manicure in front of my face. One, two... Huh? Huh? All right. They snacked on the dead skin cells in these dirty towels. Looks like they ate and ran. They could be anywhere by now. Better head back to the gag lab. Maybe Lab Rat has a lead. <sighs> okay, it's cool. I just gotta get this girl back to normal, then go out and shrink the huge disgusting dust mites. After that, I'll never leave the gag lab again. <laughs> Mad scientist or something? Do you know who I am? You better unshrink me or I'm gonna come after you and my Okay, head. I'm not ready to deal with her. Maybe I'll go shrink the dust mites first. Uh oh. Hey, guys! How'd it go with the dust mites? Something must have spooked them. What would scare off a dust mite the size of a grizzly bear? Search me. Uh, not literally, search me. I mean, why would you do that? Hmm? Hey! I want out of here! Oh, I will not be held prisoner in some cheap polyester knockoff! Ugh. Hey, what's that? Uh, nothing. I didn't see anything move. I mean, I didn't see anything. <laughs> nothing unusual here. No, that. 
Oh, right. That's just some poop one of the giant dust mites left. <laughs> this is poop? It smells more like a grody old pillow. <laughs> Careful. Uh, a lot of people are allergic to dust mite poop. <laughs> uh, including me. The goo is enzymes and fungus that the mites use to pre-digest food. They don't have much of a stomach, so they eat the same cell over and over, digesting a little bit more each time. Okay, that's gross. Not cool gross either. I've got it. Run a DNA analysis on the skin cells in this poop. Once we know whose bed the mites came from, we'll finally have a lead. Uh, yeah. I'll get right on that. Hey, did that bag just... <gasps> Hermes? Hermes! See, it was just a... Hermes. Help! <laughs> Agents, we have a new report! Those disgusting mites are at the hospital! <laughs> Eating dirty sheets! Ah, oh, this is hopeless! That does it! I'm just gonna buy a brand new bed every day! <laughs> yucky, yucky skin cells! Catch you later, lab rat. Not if I can help it. So that gigantic poop came from one of these guys? <laughs> yep, I can see that. <laughs> Hot, soapy water, a dust mite's worst enemy. You wash them down, I'll goop them up. Ready? In three, <gasps> two, what are you? Where'd that come from? <sighs> Time to clean up your ass! Labrat said there were two dust mites, right? So where did number three come from? From a big family. Uh, are you sure this is just a baby? Uh. Don't slack off now. We've got about a dozen more to catch. Unhand that poor creature. Arachnidia! I knew it! Oh, put away your toys. I'm here to help you. You want these arachnids safely contained. So do I. We can work together. Right. You'll never catch those mites without my help. You need someone who thinks like an arachnid. You need me. She's got a point, Abby. Get me dead skin cells. As many as you can. Meet me later at the highway underpass. <laughs> sure thing. Dead skin cells. We'll get right on that, your highness. Okay. You already tried it that way. Mm. <gasps> your nagging isn't exactly helping things. Didn't I shrink some magazines for you? Labrat, come in! Uh-oh. Uh, hey! Labrat, what's the poop on that poop analysis? It's arachnidia's skin cell, right? Um... The DNA sequencer had a power problem. Uh, but I'm looking at an alternate source. But what about the... Labrat out! Got it. This has gone on long enough. I'll unshrink you, but you have to promise not to tell anyone what happened. Whatever! Just get me back to my right size, now! No! This is not my right size! You are in so much trouble! Uh, just a little calibration problem. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I won't worry, uh, but you should. Hey! Let me go! Not so big now, are you, Mr. Mad Scientist? Lyra! Where are you? I know you're there! Well, what are you waiting for? Make me normal again! I will, but not here. This is freaking me out! Lyra! <laughs> Where are we? <sighs> In the storm drain by your school. Once I zap you, you can crawl out of here and we can finally say goodbye. Great. He's a mad scientist and he's gassy. 
That wasn't me. Oh, no! Ew! What are those? You don't want to know. I gotta reverse this thing again and shrink these things fast. Oh, no! You're not putting me off again! Me! Ah! Ow! Ow! Scientist ever. Thanks. Man, how can I face my friends now? Oh, that's easy. Blame it on them, then get new friends. I do it all the time. What? I could never do that. They trusted me, and I let them down. <sighs> Lying's not my thing. I'll just have to tell them the truth and face the consequences. Listen to me. Friends are disposable, but consequences have, well, <laughs> consequences. <laughs> Have a dust mites buffet in no time. That's every dead skin cell in town. I don't understand. I reckon Nydia said she'd be here. Told you we couldn't trust her. Guys, over here. Lab rat? Lab rat, you're outdoors. Believe me, I know. I gotta tell you guys something. I knew it. It's Arachnidia. She's behind this whole thing, isn't she? No. I am. What? I don't get it. I was working on my shrinking ray, only I got it backwards and accidentally created giant dust mites. Then I was trying to fix it, and I made them even bigger. You have been busy, but why didn't you tell us the truth from the start? I was afraid you'd never trust me again. Ah! I see you have the skin cells. Yeah, we got them. What next? I found the perfect place. Follow me. The smell of all those delicious dead skin cells will lead the mites right to us. Lab rat, we gotta go. Why don't you head back to the lab? We can talk about this later. Mattress factory? Those big, beautiful dust mites will be right at home. Hurry! Come and get it! Hurry up! Whoa! Whoa! They're like Paige at a shoe sale. <laughs> Every bug for himself. There. You're back home and back to normal. I am so going to tell everybody about what you did to me. Now, who are you? Me? I'm just somebody who ought to quit before he gets fired. Well, good. That's the first smart thing I've heard you say all day. Because from what I've seen, whatever it is you do, you don't do it very well. Huh. Uh, they went through those skin cells uh, awfully fast. Now what? Hey! She set us up! Did you think I'd let you capture my precious mites? <laughs> they finished their snack. Now your skin is the main course. <laughs> Relax, Ty. Dust mites only eat dead skin. Uh, not making me feel better. Feast, my bed. Feast! <laughs> Brad, what are you doing here? Huh? I'd never quit on you guys, even if the most selfish girl in the world said I should. Wait, you met Paige? <sighs> Rescue now, talk later. Sure thing, I got some shrinking to do. You missed! Did I? 
If there's one thing dust mites hate, it's the sun. Everybody move in close and say, skin cells. <laughs> Finally, I get to shrink a bad guy. Me and my massive mighty mites. You made us minuscule. You'll pay for this. Let me go. Don't worry, you've got magazines. Hey, these are last months. I'm so sorry, you guys. I should have come clean from the start. Don't sweat it, Lab Rat. We all make mistakes. Besides, everything worked out okay. Okay? What about poor Paige? I shrunk her down and bounced her around, and normal people don't go in for this grossology stuff. <laughs> you shrunk Paige? Don't worry about her. Somehow I think she'll get over her little adventure just fine. And I was trapped in this terrible, nasty, unstylish bag with these ridiculously lay magazines that were like so five minutes old. Wow, that's an amazing story, Paige. Tell me, this so-called mad scientist, what was his name? Name? I uh, never asked. Well, what about the giant bugs? You have pictures, right? Um, no. Oh, Paige, Paige, Paige. If you're going to make up a story, at <laughs> least make it believable. Hey! I did not make it up! This one's true! I mean, they're all true, but this one's really true! 